Hi everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today we're going to be talking about the drug gabapentin, also known by the brand name Neurontin. You can use the timestamps in the video description to jump ahead. Gabapentin belongs to the anti-epileptic and analgesic drug classifications. The exact mechanism of action of gabapentin is actually still unknown. However, gabapentin is often used in the treatment of partial seizures, usually as an additive treatment option. This is also known as adjunct therapy, when you're using it alongside something else, like another medication. Gabapentin is thought to work in part by stabilizing neuronal membranes, which may explain its use in seizures. But again, its action is not completely understood. Gabapentin is also used in the treatment of postherpetic neuralgia, which is a fairly common complication of shingles. Postherpetic neuralgia may present as a painful burning or stabbing sensation which may continue long after the shingles rash and blisters go away. Gabapentin is structurally similar to the inhibitory neurotransmitter called GABA, where gabapentin gets its name from, but it has no direct effects on GABA receptors. Some off-label uses of gabapentin include neuropathic pain, prevention of migraine headaches, bipolar disorder, and diabetic peripheral neuropathy. Some of gabapentin's side effects include dizziness, fatigue, somnolence, peripheral edema. It may increase the risk for viral infections, suicidal ideations, and more. This is why we would avoid use of gabapentin in those with suicidal ideations. Safety in children or during pregnancy and breastfeeding has also not yet been established. It's important to be aware of the possible interactions with gabapentin. There may be an increased risk for CNS depression if used with other CNS depressants, like alcohol or opioids. Morphine has been shown to increase concentrations of gabapentin, therefore a dose adjustment may be required when taking these medications together. Antacids may decrease gabapentin's absorption, so do not take gabapentin within two hours of taking antacids. As with most medications, do not discontinue gabapentin abruptly but instead gradually taper the dose according to the provider's instructions. It may take over a week to taper off gabapentin safely, to reduce the risk of rebounding and having seizures. And that's about it for the basics of gabapentin. If this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to review a specific drug or topic, please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.